Today is January the 22nd, San Vincenzo, a special day in Giallone, where festivities are in full swing. After the morning's procession, there is a repeat performance in the afternoon, this time in the rain, but it has not affected the party atmosphere. The Spadonari, swordsmen, begin the procession with their dance full of symbolic gestures. This is followed by the local band, a woman carrying the bran, a tree in bloom, and the priors. Everyone gathers in front of the parish church before entering. Even the three-metre-high bran, weighing 30 kilos, goes in with holy bread around its base. After the religious service, the dancers perform in the churchyard. The priors, together with the bearer of the bran, observe the rite from the church portal. Although armed, the performance by the spadonari does not seem aggressive. Their swords, which they thrust into the ground, represent ploughing rather than fighting. The same costumes adorned with flowers. In particular, the characteristic headdress probably has its origins in propitiatory rites of spring. Spadonari dances can be found in other parts of the Susa Valley and Cenischia. They are examples of how certain pagan traditions blended with folk Catholicism, even if their origins are largely undocumented. And therefore, somewhat uncertain. The explosion of colours on the flowering tree and the headgear of the Spadonari contrast sharply with the grey winter landscape, offering consolation and welcome sign of the eagerly awaited spring. Mm -hmm.